people who are older, heavier, Lord knows I work, you know, all different kinds of shapes and sizes. So we're giving all kinds of varieties of fantasies. You look at R-rated films, which kids can often see, and you see couples bumping and grinding, just because we're hardcore, we're the bad guys, we'll show you this. You know, but you see people using <laughs> expectations. <laughs> Anywhere you go, you go to a new beach in France. Well, honey, why don't you look like that? You know, or you can go out on New York City subway and see sexy ladies. Well, honey, why don't you look like that? So this whole thing about unrealistic expectations. If some guy looks at a porn film and thinks he should be getting the same thing in real life, he's an idiot. It can be used as a guide to help in certain positions. It can be a girl named Nina Hartley pretty soon. And she has a whole guide for Adam and Eve about love positions, how to dance for your lover, how to give your husband oral sex. You know, they're, they're, people can use porn as a guide to try out certain positions. We call this standing ovation. You watch a porn film with your girlfriend, you say, that looks pretty good, you stand up, you leave the room, you try it out in the bedroom. It's called getting through half a porn film. We don't mind if our audience walks out on us. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Some people use porn to masturbate, some see it as couples. We're happy either way. So this thing about unrealistic expectations, I never understood that point. Last but not least, dogs, my grandmother, and Vietnam War casualties. Excuse me, anyone see my documentary? Tamara Stevens joked about this. He's bringing this totally out of context, which he does in most of his arguments. When it's called a, it's just, when a guy's too close to climaxing, it's called a whoa, whoa, whoa stage. You know when you're so close to like saying, uh oh. <laughs> Back away because you're ready to explode, it's too soon, the girl will think you're a win. So you gotta hold it. Now in real life, you guys don't have that problem. You know, you can just pull it out, watch TV, have a sandwich, come back into it again. <laughs> your face, your tongue, come back to the penis, pull it out again. So when you get too close, take it out. It's not a problem. She'll think you, wow, there's a three-week circus. What a lover this guy is, you know? So you can do that. But in porn, you can't waste that kind of time. You can't let the director and just yank it out and watch TV for a few minutes. So it's called a whoa, whoa stage. So what a lot of guys do in porn, you think of something in your mind is totally disgusting. You know, that'll take, keep you off the sex. You look away, you look at the cameraman's head, his foot, a light switch. Think about Vietnam casualties, dogs, German shepherds, your grandparents, whatever. Whatever makes you keep harder, longer for the scene to work. And in my documentary, Tabitha Steve is teasing me. She throws me in her look at my face. And I go, I can't look at you. What, you thinking about dogs right now? Shut up, shut up. And it's a joke <laughs> we have in our documentary. So he's taking it out of context. I'm not thinking about dogs to get a boner. I'm thinking about it to keep away the boner. To last long. So you that context. What kind of pervert thinks about German Shepherds to get a boner? Maybe his friends. Anyway. I didn't learn. Thank you. <laughs>